This story is many years old. At that time, there was a king ruling in South India. A flea named Mandarasarpini lived in the king's bed, but the king was not aware of this. Every night, when the king fell asleep, the flea would come out of its home, suck the king's blood with great relish, and then go back and hide. One day, a bedbug named Agnamuk also entered the king's bed from somewhere. When the flea saw it, she was very angry that a bedbug had entered her territory. The flea went to it and asked it to leave immediately. The bedbug said, Oh, flea sister, this kind of behavior is not even done with an enemy. I have come a long way and just want to stay here for one night to rest. Please let me stay here. Hearing the bedbug's words, the flea's heart melted. She said, Okay, you can stay here, but you should not cause any trouble to the king because of you. You will not go near the king. Flea sister, I have come a long way and am very hungry. Anyway, where does one get the chance to drink the king's sweet blood every day? Please give me a chance to taste the king's blood tonight, the bedbug said pleadingly. The flea fell for the bedbug's words and gave her permission to suck the king's blood. Okay, you can have a meal of the king's blood, but before that, you have to wait for the king to fall asleep deeply. You cannot bite him until the king is completely asleep, the flea said. The bedbug agreed to this and both of them waited for the night to fall. As soon as it was night, the king came to his room and started preparing to sleep. The king's body was very healthy and his stomach was very fat. Seeing this, the bedbug's mouth watered. As soon as the king came and lay down on the bed, the bedbug did not hesitate and went straight to bite the king's fat stomach hard and then ran and hid under the bed. The king screamed in pain and immediately called his soldiers into the room. The king ordered the soldiers, soldiers, there must be a bedbug or flea in this bed. Find it immediately and kill it. When the king's soldiers started searching on the bed, they found the flea hiding in the bed. They immediately killed the flea and the bedbug escaped. In this way, the flea was killed because of the bedbug's mistake.